You're watching Fort Campbell soldier John King being escorted out of a bar for ignoring requests to stop drinking. We all walk that night so there's no hands on him. Keith Jones says this security video from the Lodge Sports Pub shows how everything changed when King's friend Derek Gosiniak comes over and Jones says both men become combative. From my side and what we've heard is they swung on our security first. Jones says his security handcuffed the two and called police, but both men have since filed reports accusing staff of assaulting them. Authorities have yet to charge anyone with a crime, but the incident has landed this bar off limits to any Fort Campbell soldier anyway. Police investigated, made a, a report to our people, uh, our uh, board, people on the board made a decision to put it off limits. Post spokesperson Bob Jenkins says an owner doesn't have to commit a crime to land on the off-limits list. Instead, a business makes it here when a local military board determines it isn't a desirable establishment for soldiers. Currently, a host of bars, automotive shops, and even mobile home parks are on the list. And Jenkins says it's needed to protect soldiers and their families. They, they are a transient population, so they don't know this area. So when it comes to um, deciding on what, where they want to live. They don't know if there are landlords or businesses or whatever that are unscrupulous. Back at the lodge, employees take issue with being on the list as they say this video shows employees treating soldiers respectfully. I think it's unfair, but it is what it is right now.